Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Hitler series. I'm Gunnar Madhivanan from Officers IAS Academy. Today in this video, we are going to discuss another important interesting topic that is regarding fair and remunerative prices, FRP. Friends, I have explained about the minimum support price in my previous videos. Please watch that video before watching FRP for more clarity. Minimum support price, I have explained in detail. It is announced for 23 crops. The 23 crops includes 7 cereals, 7 oil seeds, 5 pulse variety and 4 commercial crops and one of the commercial crop is sugarcane. For sugarcane alone, the procurement process is different. I have mentioned till this in that video. Right? And I also mentioned I will make a separate video for FRP. That separate video is here. So, as I mentioned, for sugarcane alone, we have a separate procurement process. That we are referring it as fair and remunerative prices. Now, how FRP works? Let us try to understand. So, Guna is a farmer who is growing sugarcane. Guna is a farmer who is growing sugarcane. Now, what Guna will do? So, Guna will take this sugarcane to a sugar mill. So, Guna is going to take this sugar cane to a sugar mill. This sugar mill is going to buy this sugar cane. The sugar mill will buy the sugar cane. At what price the sugar mill should buy the sugar cane? That is announced by government. It is the government which will announce at what price the sugar mill has to buy. So, Guna, Guna, is taking 100 kgs of sugar cane, assume. 100 kg of sugar cane means, 100 kg means 1 quintal. So, Guna is taking 1 quintal of sugar cane. So, I am going to sell it to the sugar mill. At what price sugar mill has to buy? That price, sugar mill cannot determine, that price, government will determine. So, government will say, per quintal, per quintal, 300 rupees. Government will say. If government says, then the sugar mill should pay 300 rupees for 1 quintal of sugar cane. For 100 kg of sugar cane, the sugar mill has to pay 300 rupees. Right? In the MSP, it is Food Corporation of India which was directly procuring. Government was directly procuring. But in FRP, government will not procure. Government will give an indicative price. At that price, sugar mill has to procure. So, what is FRP? FRP is a price at which the sugar mill will buy sugar cane from the farmers. Okay. And who is going to fix this price? Like MSP. For MSP, we know it is Commission for Agricultural Costs and Prices. CACP will be recommending and Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs, CCEA, which is headed by Prime Minister, which is headed by Prime Minister, CCEA, that will give approval. This is what we saw for MSP. The MSP minimum support price will be recommended by CACP and approved by CCEA. Same group, for FRP also same group. The FRP amount will be recommended by CACP and the final approval will be given by Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs headed by Prime Minister. Clear? Now, I would like to introduce another top concept called a state advised prices, SAP. So, fair and remunerative prices that will be announced for entire India length and breadth, 300 rupees per quintal that is announced for entire India. So, a, a sugarcane farmer from Tamil Nadu goes to sugar mill, same price. A sugarcane farmer from Uttar Pradesh goes to sugar mill, same price. Right? But, there is something called as state advised prices. So, what is this state advised prices? So, over and above, over and above, whatever, over and above, whatever central government has fixed, individual state governments can fix an additional amount. For example, FRP is 300 per quintal. Now, UP state can say that sugar mills in UP, central government can say 300 rupees, but I am telling you, give another 25 rupees. So, in UP, the sugar mills will be procuring the sugar cane for 325 rupees per quintal. So, state advised prices are prices announced by the state government over and above the FRP. FRP is announced for entire India, length and breadth it is same. 
but fcap individual states will be adding some additional value and within that state the sugar mills has to procure for this additional price now this frp we will come back to fair and remunerative prices this frp don't think it is going to be one fixed price don't think it is going to be 300 per quintal for whatever may be the quality of sugar cane it is not like that basically this frp will be fixed based on recovery rate based on recovery rate of sugar so when government announces government will say for 1 quintal if the recovery rate is 10% for 1 quintal if the recovery rate is 10% then it is 300 rupees what is this 10% recovery rate see i have sugar cane i crush the sugar cane i get the sugar syrup okay from which i will deduce it to sugar so i have lots of sugar cane 300 see i have lot of sugar cane 100 kg 100 kg of sugar cane okay by crushing this 100 kg by processing this 100 kg if i am getting 10 kg of sugar that is called as 10% recovery rate so what government says for 100 kg that is 1 quintal that is 1 quintal for 100 kg of sugar cane if the recovery rate is 10 kg of sugar then we will give 3 and let me sugar mills can give 300 rupees assume that a uh, guna farmer takes 100 kg of uh, sugar cane but the recovery is not 10 kg recovery is recovery is 20 kg recovery is 20 kg of sugar in that case i will not be paid 300 i will be paid 600 assume that guna is taking uh, 100 kg of sugar cane but guna is able to i mean guna sugar cane is producing only 5 kg of sugar 100 kg of sugar cane but recovery rate is only 5 kg in that case i will be paid only 150 rupees so the price is linked with the recovery rate the price is linked with the recovery rate of sugar so when government announces government will say 300 rupees per quintal for 10% recovery rate if the recovery rate increases more frp recovery rate reduces lesser frp right you got some clarity so now here here we have to understand that this frp right year after year this frp is being increased year after year this frp is being increased okay every government who comes they are increasing the frp so when more returns so for example 300 rupees per quintal if it becomes 400 rupees per quintal 500 per, per quintal if the frp is higher then more farmers like guna many other farmers may they may think okay we will also grow sugar cane because more profit we are getting more returns we are getting right so because of that more people they started producing more people they started producing more sugar cane right and because of more sugar cane there is surplus sugar there is surplus sugar since there is surplus sugar because more sugar cane means more sugar is produced when there is more sugar available in the market demand is low but more sugar is available in the market then the sugar price the sugar price will come down when sugar price comes down the sugar mill the sugar mill they are going to make loss when sugar mill faces loss that is going to affect the farmer how when sugar mill faces loss how it is going to affect the farmer because i said here right so guna guna is taking sugar cane to the sugar mill sugar mill has to pay money based on frp but don't think sugar mill will immediately pay all the money if guna is taking 1 quintal of sugar cane don't think uh, 300 rupees will be immediately given sugar mill will give an advance sugar mill will give an advance the sugar mill after selling the sugar in the market after making profit they will give the balance amount so for example now the sugar mill it is uh, getting sugar cane from guna 
uh, instead of 300 assume they are giving only 200 rupees and they tell to guna that guna guna farmer you wait for uh, one week i will convert this into sugar i will sell it in the market and i will give the balance amount this is how it works but what happens sugar mill there is surplus sugar production year after year sugar price is very low so sugar we are not able to sell for a higher price so the sugar mill is facing loss since they are facing loss the balance amount is not being paid to the farmers the balance amount is called as cane arrear the balance amount is called as cane arrear balance amount has to be given right that is called as cane arrear and you won't believe the cane arrear today in india is close to 10000 crores close to 10000 crores cane arrear is this much amount is spending sugar mill has to give this much amount to the farmers in total right so i hope you got some clarity on this frp topic and i also hope that you got what is the issue surrounding this uh, sugar payments cane arrears now i want you to give it in the comment section so i have explained what is frp i have highlighted the problem with respect to this frp in the comment section you tell me what is the consequence what is the consequence cane arrear is one consequence higher frp see my question is very simple frp is very high year after year the governments are increasing frp because of that more sugar is being produced because of that sugar mill they are facing loss because of surplus sugar because of that there is a lot of cane arrear the farmers is ultimately suffering so what shall we do how to address this problem is there any other problem because of higher frp is there any other problem right how to solve this problem you give your view on this lines okay i am eager to read your comments i will also give you reply i will also share what is my opinion so i hope you got clarity crystal clear clarity on this frp topic so i will meet you tomorrow with another interesting topic till then bye take care